Introducing the African Diaspora News Channel app, your gateway to stories that's overlooked by the corporate mainstream media. And we serve as the voice to the true file black community. Again, we got Dr. Candace Matthews. A lot of these documents, you know, looking at. We are committed to informing and educating through the power of media. This country is supposed to be about the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people and we are tired. With our platform, we're helping to end injustice by exposing it. Join us in standing for excellence in journalism and serving our community. Download the African Diaspora News app today. 33-year-old man dies after being locked in a cold storage freezer for allegedly stealing a chocolate bar at a ShopRite supermarket in Heidelberg, Johannesburg. Hello, my name is Renee Lomorema and I am your host, the right chair on the African Diaspora News channel, reporting live from Johannesburg, South Africa. Bandile Shabalala died after a ShopRite manager allegedly locked him inside a cold storage room for allegedly stealing a chocolate bar. Shabalala is believed to have been locked inside the cold storage for 11 hours in the wee morning of Sunday. His body was found outside an app of mortuary next to the ShopRite supermarket on Monday morning. It is established that Shabalala was unemployed. He was with two friends who managed to flee the scene when the security officials apprehended him. Community members told News24 that thieves are often locked inside the freezer as punishment. However, they are released after 30 minutes or so. The fact that this is not the first time this happens is wild. The lawlessness of this country allows managers and people with money and power to treat people like rubbish. The community of Ratanda in Heidelberg, south of Gauteng, protested outside their local ShopRite supermarket. This after 33-year-old Bandile Shabalala died after he was allegedly locked inside the shop's cold room for more than eight hours. It's alleged that the store's manager locked him inside the cold room after he was caught stealing chocolate. Angry protesters hurled stones at the shop, damaging the manager's car and the supermarket's glass door. Shabalala's family are devastated after hearing of his death. Okay, fine. Mas figa la payana. Ikoni venya mapoisa. I emblenzi ayiko. Obandile. Obegiwe. La payana la abege kona derize shop. La pugi centrale e ya lane ya se shop righti. Bati afbop. Obegwe la pula ki umuntu o sheli siwe. Ane? Okay, fine. Sifunu gwazi uguti. Wenza galeni. We didn't get any answers. Saibona na ime nenjara inside the shop. With ama securities. Ane? Like to come to us and say something. You can hear there are people that are crying. What is it to you? What is happening inside of you? And ask, just to come and ask, what is it? Why are you crying? But there was nothing. We were shattered like that child was not a child of a, 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 a human being. They don't have a right to arrest. They don't have a right to beat. They don't have a right, even if that particular somebody have done that, their duty is very simple as the manager, is to manage the, the shop, your stock and everything, not to manage a human being. So that management must be held accountable. And if there are no answers come this Friday, there are no answers, we are left with no option. We are going to boycott, we are going to boycott that, that shop. Police are still investigating the circumstances surrounding the 33-year-old's death. if he stole a million rand taking the law into your own hand is not an option in my previous segment about um mackenzie wanting to bring back the death penalty i said a lot of black people will fall victim to that law because all these crimes are rooted from one thing unemployment and who suffers unemployment the most are black people in our community there is a connection between high employment, a high unemployment rate and increased crime rate as individuals might commit crimes out of desperation.
He probably stole that chocolate because he was hungry. After a long day of being in the streets, asking for a job or even food with no luck, one can resort to such antics. We are quick to act without considering the fact. People commit far worse crimes without consequences. And here, this man painfully dies over chocolate. I hope the ANC knows this is the kind of South Africa they have created. They go up and down these political manifestos, promising people jobs, dangling a better life in our faces in order to get votes. And then not, and then after they don't fulfill their promises and then act surprised when these events are happening in our community. And then you get idiots like Belik Trele giving speeches about crime statistics in South Africa and offering no solutions because they are counting on these criminal activities to enrich themselves and stay in power. What behooves me is that this is not the first time the manager imposes such a punishment on people. It is a norm at this ShopRite brand. So are the workers that desperate to keep their jobs that they are, they are willing to overlook or look the other way when a man is freezing to death? No one said anything. No one reported it. And the disrespect to and the disrespect to just dump his body at a morgue, it, it, it is pure evil. The EFF has called for the arrest of the shoprite manager and the retail giant to take accountability. Ratanda police have opened a case of common assault as well as an inquest docket. Two security guards, Sandile Shangase and Kamuhelo Tuari, have appeared in court on charges of murder and kidnapping. ShopRite says they are not taking this allegation lightly and they will investigate. And we all know what it means. They're just going to look the other way, write a whole lot of speech just to look the other way. But anyway, they have sent their deepest condolences to the family. Yeah, whatever. The best way to offer these condolences is to compensate the family well. I, I don't I don't buy face. I'm one person I will not buy face. ShopRite is a gigantic retail company uh, that is spread across Africa. They sure they surely can give the family a bit of compensation instead of sending their condolences. We will follow the story and give you updates on what happens next. My name is Renee Lomorema and it has been an absolute pleasure hosting you on this segment. Please don't forget to like and share the broadcast, comment in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the African Diaspora News channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss these groundbreaking conversations right here on the African Diaspora News channel.